Hey everybody, John Be Good here, located in Menominee, Wisconsin. I am empty, been empty for about 45 minutes, and uh, there's fortunately there's a truck stop. In fact, you can see Walmart right over there, right there. See, right between those scale uh, posts, way over there. That's Walmart, and there's a truck stop right here across the street, and uh, so I came over here and finished my 10-hour break. All right, this was the note that I found yesterday that was left on Blue's windshield, and it came from Brian. I crossed out Brian's phone number there because I didn't want that to be out there in the world. <laughs> that would not be nice, right, Brian? So good morning, Brian. Thank you for leaving the note. And uh, All right, the second note that I found... As you can see, both of these are written in <laughs> Hardee's. A great, a great, no, no, no. This is Papa John's. Yeah, just like he said, he went to Papa John's. The second note was written on uh, Hardee's, and it came from. It says, "Hi, Johnny, be good. Wishing you and Blue safe travels. Your hometown followers, Eric, Messi, and Emmett. Ha ha." Ah oh, man, thank you, thank you guys. Looks like Blue has found a fanfare here. <laughs> hey Blue, you got some fans. I'm jealous, Blue. I am jealous, Blue. Anyway, um, all right. Looks like my 10-hour break is done. As you can see, I have 11 hours available. 14. We have 65, 17 on our 70, and what else is there? Again, I am empty, and uh, from here to Green Bay is 214 miles, roughly 3 hours and 43 minutes. So we're going to dead head to the De Pere Terminal. I'm probably going to take the Jeep home, sleep at the house, and then come back to the pier uh, tomorrow morning. Okay, what else is there? Uh, let's see, I already did an empty call. I don't need to do a check call because it's Sunday. Well does not require us drivers to do a check call on weekends. Um, yeah, I cut my own hair. Pretty nice. I also got to the house my sleeping bag up here. It's time to bring the sleeping bag uh, if we're getting ready for the winter time uh, it's been a while since I've shown you the interior of blue here's my microwave slash storage there's another storage up there second bunk up here storage up there And another store is down there. All my water gowns. Down here are my multiple junk. What else? Over here is a uh, storage up here. This is my coffee maker made by Keurig. All I gotta do is turn that on. But as you can hear, my uh, my inverter is screaming because there's not enough power on the batteries. In order for me to use that, I have to turn the engine on. All right, another storage down here, another storage down there. What else? There goes another storage over here. 
There goes another storage up here. CB over here. All that junk up here. And that's pretty much it. Oh yeah. I got my uh I got my bunk heater. I don't know if you guys can see that's a little dark. I got my wa bunk warmer right here, which is plugged in over here. This is the APU. Now in order for me to put the heat on, I press this. Like that. Now this is the cigarette lighter plug that goes into the bunk warmer. Kind of annoying with all the wires. What else? That's the uh, clock over here. These are the controls. This turns the dome light on and off. This locks the doors. Your temperature controls. You can set your alarms. And over here is the USB charger. And that's it. And of course, if you left the bed up, you left the bed up and there's a whole bunch of storage on there. My 12 volt little cooler over there. And that's it. All right, this concludes the grand tour of Blue's inside. Oh, sorry, Blue. Didn't mean to embarrass you, Blue. <laughs> uh, Blue's just said, why are you showing my inside private parts, Johnny Be Good? Those are private. Well, Blue, you have a lot of fans out there, so. Okay. And of course over here is the glove box. Tr throw the trash out soon. What else is there? These are my TA cards that they keep sending me all the time. As if I'm gonna run out of it. Oh, my wife brought me a brand new Norelco Phillips electric shaver which is kind of nice I love it uh, and that's it kind of a messy truck in it but it's a truck that's lived on feeling uh, oh, I better turn the light off okay Yeah, that's all I got right now so anyway happy happy Sunday everybody and uh, may you have a blessed Sunday friendly reminder that this is the day that the Lord has made let's enjoy it let's love it let's give him thanks give him praise let's give him the worship that he deserves I mean if we are if we can worship those movie stars and football players in a certain way, we should be able to give God the greatest thanks and appreciation, right? And most of all, let's reverence Him. He is the King of Kings. He's not just, hey dude, <laughs> yeah, man, I tell you, that, that don't work. So, all right, have a good and godly Sunday, we'll catch you down the road, peace.